Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody. How are you all? I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah and enjoying this time in learning by staying home in this pandemic COVID-19. So stay home, stay safe, avoid public gathering and maintain social distance just because of your family and yourself. So as we know, learning is a continuous process. You have to learn every day a new things because learning makes you more valuable in this world. So you are most welcome to our channel Heather Tech. Please like and subscribe our channel. Let's start the new topic of today. About the packet tracer, it's a simulator. Okay, so we can design our network in this uh, simulator, the Cisco packet tracer. Okay. So today just we will see the one spec of the Cisco Packet Tracer. It also provides uh, the IoT features in 7.2.2 and uh, 7 to onward. Uh, all the version it is providing the, the IoT features. So today we will just focus on the IoT. Okay. So how we can add the IoT related uh, uh, devices uh, and how we can simulate it here I will just show you now okay suppose uh, I will take just one scenario these are the see the network devices available here so you can choose and you can select any device and you can see here first we are going to take uh, the switch okay just click it here on the switch so this is 2960 for the time being we are going to add 2960 switch okay and uh, then we need to also take the servers click here and you can take the server okay so you can take one server here okay and uh, what you need to do you need to take now one computer the pc or the laptop okay we will connect the laptop or uh, any pc don't mind you can take the pc or any other thing other than this see here if you will click here on this icon i think it can be easily visible here check my mouse cursor click it on this icon and these are the IoT related devices, okay? You can see here. So these are all the IoT related devices. If you will just scroll down this thing. So these are the IoT related devices, okay? So what we can do, we can make a scenario. If the motion is detected, the light should be on and the camera should be on. Suppose we are in, uh, in a lab, okay? So it's a little bit sensitive lab. What we need to do, this is our light. Okay, we need to drag the light and uh, this is the, the motion detector okay and uh, if the motion is detected so what we can do uh, inshallah I try to do the same thing in the actual device but here I just want to show you in the packet tracer how you can simulate because most of the uh, uh, the guys they, they are saying we don't have the IoT uh, sorry we don't have the Raspberry Pi and the group Pi device I said no issue so this Cisco packet tracer you can download and you can simulate the environment at least you will you can test the code you can see how the IoT things works okay for the initial purpose for the basic beginner learner learning purpose this is a good uh, uh, simulator so it's a good one so better you can use this uh, packet tracer for uh, the learning purpose okay so once you will simulate the environment then you can work on the actual devices as well okay so this is the thing so if the motion is detected then we can say the camera should be on suppose this is our lab so we are working in the lab so where the motion is detected so the light should be on and the camera should be on so it start recording the video so who is because we need to uh, just check who is going to enter into our lab or uh, in our room or the sensitive room sensitive laboratory is there okay so what i will do i will just assign this ip addresses to uh, let me assign the ip addresses to the computers and the servers and all these things first we can do our connections okay so first let me finish the connection f01 connect okay take the cable from here and connect with the laptop okay quickly i will connect it here and then i need to connect f03 to this one and uh, then i need to connect with the with the light okay so uh, let me finish this one as well f05 to the the motion detection okay our scenario is if the motion is detected the camera should be on and the light should be on okay so what we will do so we will assign this ip address 
to my server and and uh, let me assign the IP addresses here okay this is my server I assign this IP address subnet mask default subnet mask and no need DNS nothing else okay and uh, the services uh, I will make the services this is the IOT click it on the IOT this icon here better to click it here okay if you click it here so let me make a little bit big okay so now it's okay so click it on this option and turn on the registration server on okay once you will turn on so the IOT can register with this uh, server okay so this is my server so I need to also assign the IP addresses to the laptop and uh, let me also assign so I will assign 1.2 okay so what I can do 1.2 I can assign to this one okay and, and default subnet mask okay so this is the okay this IP I will assign here and uh, what IP I can assign to the web okay 1.3 I will assign to this webcam and uh, 1.4 I will assign to the motion detector and I will assign 1.5 to the light okay so what I need to do so let me change the name as well just we can easily uh, recognize this is IoT, this is webcam, webcam and what is the IP address? Let me connect with the yes, let me sign the IP address. This is 1.3, okay. And to call subnet mask. So assign the IP addresses to all the devices. This is a motion detector. Okay. And uh, here light motion. Motion detector. Okay. Detector. Motion detector. Okay. And the IP addresses sign the IP address okay click here and assign the IP address what IP we need to sign 1.4 assign 1.4 okay and subnet mask default subnet mask okay and uh, the light so this is a light or we can say assign the IP address okay 1.5 okay so we sign 1.5 so you can see we have done the IP addressing assignment to all the devices you can see but I think this one let me check yeah so we already done okay so we done with all the IP addressing so once we will done with this IP addressing scheme and let me fill the color and this is just for the cosmetic purpose okay at least it will give you a little bit idea so okay so this is our security lab okay so this is our security lab let me write it here this is my security lab so what I need to do so security lab okay so security lab so this is my security lab so if anyone who will uh, the motion is detected if any motion is detected the webcam will be on the light will be on so this is my most secure lab because it start recording the video okay so this is the scenario so with this scenario we will take our activity okay now uh, check the connectivity if the connectivity if you have the connectivity among see it is successful so just click it here and check the connectivity with the server yes successful so you can see check the connectivity with the server if it is successful okay so the last one we can also see the connectivity if it is working fine it's okay then what we need to do so what now we need to first we need to go to the registration server okay so go to the desktop and uh, let me make a little bit big so click on the iot monitoring okay so iot monitoring so this is the the ip so what is the ip address of my server my ip address of server is 1.1 okay so username admin password is so we'll change admin admin or, okay we can say admin admin password is admin admin okay no issue so we can sign up sign up is admin okay we can say admin okay admin admin okay so this is our password okay we have created so this, our server is ready now so what we need to do we need to register all these devices 
with our registration server okay so let me register the first webcam i will go to the fast ethernet so uh, let me register now interfaces okay global setting one minute okay so what we need to do we need to register all these one minute i think that there is some problem with my mouse cursor click it here and go to the remote server okay in the remote server what is your server ip address okay paste it here 1.1 is your server ip give the same ip see here we have 1.1 so what is your username admin so what is the password again admin okay so our password is admin admin as we did it okay if it will show the refresh it means it is connected okay so if it is refresh it is mean it is connected okay this one is connected so i will show you the connection later on okay go to the light okay just scroll down a little bit down go to the remote server so what is our remote server our remote server is 1.1 okay this is the ip address of our, our remote server so what is the username admin password is again admin okay click on connect so once will your refresh it means it is connected now on the go to the webcam okay go to the webcam come down drag down and here the ip address of your server okay and then you need to give the password admin admin okay connect just click on connect so once it will show uh, refresh it means you are connected okay so how you can see suppose you are sitting in your office this is your office sorry and uh, for the little interruption uh, actually what happened uh, this laptop uh, it was uh, deleted like anything so i i did not notice so just stop the video and again i'm going to continue from the same point see so now uh, this one i already registered all these uh, devices with my registration server i need to check whether it has been registered or not click on the laptop because you are supposed in the office and you need to check whether these lights devices motion detection webcam all these are registered with your server or not go to the see click on the web server give the ip address of your Uh, web server what is the ip address of your server 1.1 okay click it here it will ask your username and the password so admin admin okay click on this one and you will see your motion detection motion detector is there light is there and the webcam so you will see all these three devices are registered with your server so you can monitor it there so what is our condition what we are going to do because we cannot write the code at this stage because this is a very basic level at this level i will show you how you can write the code in the later uh, later on and the advance we will discuss in detail some of, uh, more programs okay so wh what is our scenario now if the motion is detected so the webcam should be on and the light should be on okay so we will click at uh, click it on the condition on this option condition click it here and after that click on this option add okay add so what is this motion detection motion so we will give the name to this scenario motion m o t i o n motion detection okay so motion detection if the motion is motion is detected detection is on okay if you will see here if the motion detection is on one minute let me adjust all the things if the motion detection is on what action should be perform so the webcam should be on okay so this one and what can we do the light status must be on okay so this is the condition okay this is the condition so once you add this condition then you also need to write if there is no motion it should be off okay so you need to add one more condition no motion no motion if there is no motion then if there is no motion then what should be do on is 
false okay if there is no motion then the webcam on status should be false okay and the light status should be off okay so you need to press okay and now we configure these two condition okay the first condition motion is detected and the second condition is if no motion so now let's see that now we need to check the the condition this is the motion detection this is the light and the webcam okay so what we will do we will just press the alt key from the keyboard and we will see what will happen if the motion is detected let me just uh, okay i think now it's fine so press the alt key and the motion is detected okay if the motion is detected so it should be see the light should be on okay and the webcam image you can see here uh, the webcam image is not going to be displayed because uh, there is a problem with the packet tracer and uh, <coughs> So uh, I need to update the packet tracer. So that's all for today. And uh, I hope uh, it is a little bit informative for you. So please uh, like and uh, like this video and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Masala.